Welcome to this video about the installation of the ServiceNow integration for OPEX. First, you need to download the integration toolkit within the OPEX store and go into ServiceNow and go to download latest release. Just make sure you have read uh, the information about the installation. You have here the information about the installation package, the prerequisite Java 8 for running, uh, the API, uh, about REST API, so if you are in OPEX v3, you need to install this add-on. If you are in OPEX v4, it is installed by default. And then you can download the package for the integration. While it's downloading, if you do not have Java 8 installed in your uh, server, you need to actually download it. You can go into the Oracle and download the latest Java version. If you only want to run, a uh, running environment will be enough. If you want to customize the integration, you will need a, a, a GDK of Java 8. Download the appropriate version in your system, which should be Windows 64. Uh, and the latest release at the moment of, of this video is Java 0.8.251. Just download this here. In my case, this is already installed. And if I checked in the program file, Java, I will find GDK and GRE 1.8. It may not be enough just to install this version. You will have to configure the Java home variable in Windows. For that, you can go into the settings, search for variables, and do edit the system environment variable. You will have here the environment variables, and you will have to create one that is called Java home. Just press new and fill in in the variable name Java underscore home and in the value put the path where the version of Java is installed. In my case, program file Java GDK 1.8.0 underscore 251. This is mandatory so that the program can know where the Java executable is to run the Java uh, program. As you've understood from that, the integration is done using Java, of course. Once you have downloaded the uh, package for the integration, you have to unzip this package into the C folder. By default, all this integration mechanism is done so that you would uh, unzip uh, this integration package. This integration package will contain the integration folder here. So I have already unzipped it. So if you click on C, I will find here in the integration folder the unzip. You should find here a folder service now. If you have other integration with other system, they will appear in this list. Within service now, you will have a different set of files uh, that will be needed for the integration. The first file you need to look at is the configuration file, and you will have to edit the megadata property files. Just open it with Notepad, for example, and you will have to fill in the URL where OPEX is deployed a user and password that you need to connect to OPEX, and you will have to define uh, information about the environment, the repository, and the profile you want to use. This will depend on your environment that, that you have. Just refer to the video about how to get those IDs uh, that is available on the MEGA community. You will also need to define where your ServiceNow environment is with the URL as well a user and a password. Once you have done that, you have basically two options. Either you use the default uh, setup, uh, so not the setup, but the default installation. So you have already packaged uh, integration, one to synchronize application, one to synchronize business process, one to make a link between application and business process, and one to synchronize software technology. If you want to do all of them, just take the one that is called OPEX underscore service now underscore simple. It will contain everything. Within this, it contains a different set of executable you can run uh, to execute the program. Uh, for example, if you're on Windows, you can run the uh, .bat uh, version or PowerShell version if you want to. And that will do the integration. You need now to put this uh, executable into uh, the Windows scheduler so that it's run overnight or every hours or and, and so on. For that, you can open the task scheduler from Windows and create a new task
here I've created already my task that I named service9 integration. I can then show you the configuration I did. You have to define for this uh, integration the action to trigger, when it's going to be done. So in my case, it's done every day, every five minutes. The action that is done is obviously launching the bat file that I mentioned. So if I look at it, it's start a program, integration, service now, simple, and I run the .bat file. No need for any arguments whatsoever. No particular conditions uh, in that case. Uh, no particular settings, uh, except that uh, I want to run the task as soon as possible if ever the, the server was down. And of course, I need to check that uh, the task need to be run whether the user is logged in or not. And uh, obviously, I need to run it with the IS privilege. That's all I need to do. And obviously, the task will be run at the given time you, you define and you will see when it's run. So this is using the out-of-the-box uh, integrations uh, that is done. If you want to customize it, you have here in the folder SRC a zip file called Service and Integration Talent Project that you can use to import within uh, Talent. Just download Talent Open Studio 7.2 or later version and do import project and import the zip file. It will import everything you need and you'll be able to start to customize. The other folders are obviously used to uh, store some information like the logs and output file that contains the mapping that were done. So you will find here, for example, if you have synchronized objects like uh, application, you will find the ID of the object that have been uh, synchronized between OPEX and ServiceNow. On the left side, ServiceNow ID, on the right side, the OPEX ID. You're ready to go and you can now use the integration with ServiceNow.